Thank you, John and Helen. Happy New Year, everyone. May we all have many, many wins this year. Paying it forward is a phrase I use very often because for me, it's a duty. We all must be give back, regardless of the challenges we're having. We haven't been given opportunities in life to simply benefit just us. We build knowledge, skills, and expertise so that as we are part of the change that we want to see. And with me to discuss in greater depth and help set the tone for 2021 is Yvonne Fasinro, MD and Head of Sub-Saharan Africa at Bank of America, trustee of Christopher Colliday Foundation and the Aliko Dangote Foundation. And she's also the founder of Adara Foundation a foundation she set up in 2016 to help Africa's socio-economic development by empowering women and youth. Every day with Yvonne Fasiro includes paying it forward and it's a real pleasure and an honor to have her with us today. Welcome, Yvonne Fasiro. Farrell, thank you so much for having me here today. It's a real pleasure and I think it's such an important topic to be discussing at this time of the year when we're all thinking about you know, what, you know, what we're thinking about. And, you know, all very thankful to God Almighty that we've survived COVID. Yes. Um, the good thing that we know about 2021 is COVID is a known factor in our lives. It's yes. something that we have to live with. The new norm. So being much more intentional about how we, how we are kind to others, especially those that we don't benefit from, um, how we help that to develop, use that to help our own nation's development at this time when we're in the second recession, yeah. uh, the second recession in the last five years. So if we look at the, the, the reading on the cards, it's going to be a very tough time, very it tough is. indeed. It is. It is. It is. And, and, and what we really need to be looking at is how we as individuals, in our own simple ways, can make... 2021 and beyond, great for our, our people, the people less fortunate than us, and for our country. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. And you know, there's something you've said here, there, 2021 is going to be tough. Yes. So that is a reality that we all have to get behind. Yes. You know, there's, yes. no, there's no way around it. Yes. And in that, paying it forward becomes even more important. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and what, what I would like to understand from your perspective, because I know you do this as a regular occurrence in your life. What are the strategies that you believe we can employ as individuals mm. to begin to give back, to begin to pay back forward, to pay forward? So I think the first thing that we have as, as a people is that we're actually very giving. We have a deep sense of responsibility as Nigerians. We really do. And as Africans, we care for our people. You know, Helen was talking earlier about her brother. Everyone is our brother. Yes. So we're doing things already. But for me, what is very, very important is how do we do it in a more consistent and methodical way? Yes. That's, that's really very important. Because God gives us consistently of his blessings. Mm. Mm. So that consistency is very important. I think that we're such a blessed people that thinking about doing it, especially in thinking more expansively about how we give and really giving um, in, in a way that is scalable and sustainable, importantly, let's give where it's relevant. Yes. So let's give where there's really, really a need. Yes. And yes. the really paying it forward is, is about not uh, waiting to be asked. Um, we, it's being strategic about it is also collaborating. We're okay. more powerful when we work with people. So for me, paying it forward really is about if we see other people doing things that we think are good hmm. and we don't have the, the, the necessary uh, wherewithal to do as much, we can collaborate with those people and do okay. more. Okay. That way we build ourselves, we, we step into nation building mode. Okay. okay. Where we are coming together thinking in an expansive way in this very tough time about what more we can give to help our brothers and to help our nation. Excellent. But, the, you know, three words, scale, sustainability, and collaboration. Scale, and consistency would be my fourth. Sustainability, collaboration, yeah. 
and, and consistency, consistency, which like our earlier guests also yes. said, yes. is extremely important. Mm. And it really, really is, it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting topic because it's a topic that, that, that doesn't get tired. You know, yeah. it's like you said, if we want to, if we want to get it out, if we want to go from it being an individual thing to a community thing and then to, you know, a countrywide thing, we have to collaborate. It has to be sustainable. We have mm. to be able to scale it. Mm. So what I do want to know now is, do you need to be rich to do all of these things? To pay it forward, do you need to, be, do you need to have lots of money? No. Absolutely emphatically, though. No. So if we think, so he, he, the, the Bible speaks to us about, about a gift opening up opportunities and being pleasing unto the Lord. And even the Quran talks about a smile to our brother is a charity. The removal of stones, um, uh, bones, and, and, and threats for people, for, from people's paths, is a charity. Guiding people when they're lost is a charity. So, of course, if you have money, give. But even thinking about now these COVID times where people are depressed, Lots of people have lost their jobs. Actually, as individuals, we make time out, say on a Sunday afternoon after lunch, for two hours, sit by your phone and call people. Somebody you know doing something, encourage them. Say to them, how are you? I think especially, you know, that we're all running through this race in life. And sometimes nobody actually asks us, how are you doing? Genuinely. And waiting for your honest, God's honest answer. So just that, how are you doing? If you know that they were thinking of starting one project, they may be afraid. Then you, get, you, you, you encourage them. If you know someone that can help, make that call. Hmm. And in, when we have money, and then when people think, oh, when I'm rich, I can give. Let's remember that the real wealth that God has given us actually has nothing to do with money. Those of us that have seen people be sick or even die recently understand that very well. When you know that there's nothing money can do for you in certain situations. So the most important thing, so the most important asset I have to give anyone, honestly, is my time. When I think of myself as a, as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, as a friend, as a sister, and then I say outside of that, I must make time to mentor women, mentor youth in a very meaningful way. Set them on the right path. Help them, make their, ch turn their lives around. Make a difference. And what is very interesting is, when you do that, the payback is incredible. And remember that paying forward is actually not about expecting anything, truly. Exactly. But I'm still exactly. saying that the payback is immense. Yeah. So let me tell you a story uh, that involves you, <laughs> that where you helped me find my way. Oh, wow. Yes. So, you know, with Adara Foundation, which I set up to empower women and youth. Yes. Come 2020 with coronavirus, yeah. lockdown, social distancing and all that. I thought, I'm done. Let's just leave this. The women who we empower through the Adira skills training, yes. for example, um, came to me saying, if I stay at home, I have no money. I have no respect. Some of them were being abused. So I had to think about out of the box and say, okay, let's go back and start doing. Yes. So from going from shutdown mode, I went into no expansive mode. Right. How are we going to do more in these tough times? <laughs> so I went and rented a new plot of land. <laughs> and then I started my busy life because I do have so many other things that I'm responsible for and do, doing. And had no clue how I was actually going to develop it. Then I was speaking with you one day. And actually you called me to say, you wanted help with your CV. Yes. And I offered you the help. And without thinking, you then said to me, how are you? What are you doing? So I talked about this land that I'd gotten. And then you said to me, but we, you can actually use containers instead to make it cheaper. Mm. I remember that conversation. Thanks to that conversation, yes. it totally changed my mind about how what money I thought I didn't have to do that development, I yes. can do it now. Yes. So you made it more real for me. Yes. 
Yeah. You, you guided me a, 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 along a path that I should have been going, where I'd be able to do it cheaper. You understand the additional people that we can train in that space yes. every week, every month, every year, especially yes. at this time. Yes. So yes. I share that story with you because I want you, would, you wouldn't have realized at the time that you were the one redirecting my path. Wow. You thought you came to me for help. But actually, the help that I gave you in recrafting your CV, if we look at how much you've saved me, and much more than that, how you've used yourself to become a catalyst for training hundreds and hundreds of women and youth, hmm. it's so simple. All you did was tell me about a company that does containers. Mm. No, you didn't just tell me about it. You set up the meeting. You mm. went to meet with them before I came back. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to make it real. Yes, so I I'm know, trying to. Yes. I'm trying to make this so that people understand that it's not about, oh, somebody being a rich person and then you can give. The richness is from our souls. Yes. The richness is looking at the things that God has given us that are more natural to us. The things that we know that other people don't know and giving that. So, so it's, it's, it's really interesting you say that because that for me is paying it forward. Yeah. Paying Absolutely. it forward has nothing to do with money. It does have to you do know. with money because you can pay forward if you have money or if you don't have money. You, exactly, yes. That's very really true. the point. Very true, very true. But this is a very, like you said, a very tangible yes. example. Yes, You know, where something happened and then it necessitated something entirely different. And one of the things that I would like to say is Yvonne is also my mentor. Yes. So it is, it is a very interesting experience to hear a mentor talk about how the mentee helped them change direction. So it's a cross-directional relationship. And that is part of the essence of being able to give back. All the, all the mentoring that I've gotten from her has led me to be able to add value in ways in which I didn't realize possible. You know, so there's a lot we can do. Um, I have been told that we have five minutes, so there's one very important question that I also want to ask, and that is that as Nigerians, we are always talking about, we are waiting for the government to do this. We're waiting for the corporate organizations to do that. It's their job to make our lives better. And my, my, my constant question is, is this really the right approach? You know, is it really the government? No, I, I, I get very, very impatient to that way of thinking, really impatient. Let's think about what the government means. So the federal government itself, the executive, is 50, at best 100 people, but really yes. about 50 people. Yes. Then you have the Houses of Assembly and Senate, which is 400 and something people. Yes. And then you have the state governors, which is another 36. Lump that all together. You're talking about way less than 1,000 people who should shoulder the responsibilities of making a nation great for 200 million people, there's a mental imbalance there. I see. There's a mental imbalance. Think about the skills that those people should have, the perspective they should have, and the things they should do. So one of the things that, and this is where real nation builders, this is how real nation builders think. Real nation builders, we, th we think about what can we do to support those leaders? I see. At the most individual level. It includes challenging them where they're doing things that are not okay. It includes challenging them. But we must support them. And if there's something that needs to be done at the grassroots, let's do it. Yes, I see what you mean. I see it, what you mean. At the grassroots, let's do it. We have too many, especially in these times, because I was talking about the recession in Nigeria. Actually, the, the global economy is in recession. There are too many challenges at this time for us to rely on a little over 500, less than 1,000 people to solve all the problems of our nation. Right, right. I, I, I see Especially you if you look at the human capital that we have in Nigeria, mm. the talent, we the intellectual capabilities. We have a lot of the that. The resources that we have that are non-financial. How do we bring those to bear? in our own little way. So for me, the things that I, so when, when I think about, when I thought about setting up Adara, which Adara Foundation, 
I wanted to do something that supports as many people as possible. Right now, we have over 14,000 beneficiaries. We did, and when I started it, I never imagined we'd have that many that quickly. I see what you mean. And this is to, to, to Helen and John's point earlier, and the point that they were making with the previous guest. Just start it, because that's what I did. I just started it. Mm, yeah. I set up the NGO structure about, so we, I started it in 2016, but actually the NGO structure didn't come fully into place until 2018. By then, we had a proper structure in place, and we had started okay. impacting people. I see, I see. So we, we have come to the end of this session, but very, very quickly, I want you to just say three words that you want to leave people with. Three words. That's putting you on the spot. We I know. All, no, it's not. Not at all. Not at all. We all can do... I, I, I'm going to take three sentences. It's New Year's... Um, <laughs> So I'm being generous with myself. Three very quick, so three, sentences. Three, very quick sentences. The one, we can all do something. Every single one of us. The next one is, let's do it now. And then let's do it together. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you, thank Farrell, you so, for this so very important topic. And thank you, Plus TV and Helen and John, for really making us think and talk about this topic at this time. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Up next with us is our fitness expert, Dolly Phillips, showing us some simple exercises we can do at home. Over to you, Dolly. <laughs>